Noobcast. Greetings, fellow noobs, and welcome to another Noobcast. This is Blomus, bringing you 1v1 here again. <laughs> so once again, it's Cloud Kingdom. Oh my goodness. All week long, we're Cloud Kingdoming it up. Our red Zerg player is none other than the glorious Platinum Inferno. Inferno is zerging it up against War Gumby, the blue Terran player. Let's get their names up there sufficiently for all to see. If you are new and have not experienced the Noobcast before and are wondering, what is this about? What is this Noobcast? What is it that these that this dude is doing? Well, let me tell you. We are all about non-pro gameplays, um, from Bronze to Masters League, even Grandmasters if you're not a pro. Uh, we take your games that you submit and send them through our sophisticated replay filtration system. And if they uh, cut the mustard, is that the phrase? Do you cut mustard if they? If they're up to snuff, <laughs> then they get put in the queue, and in a couple weeks, two to three weeks probably, in most circumstances, um, I will cast your game and put it up on YouTube for millions and millions to see. Actually, we average about 150 views eventually on the life of a non-pro Replay. If you have come here from a Stargirl cast and you have joined because of Stargirl, I am very appreciative. Uh, I do a one, usually about one Stargirl cast a week. It's actually been getting uh, fewer than that recently, um, just because, um, you know, I do it whenever she asks. And that is usually once a week. Sometimes if I'm. Uh, busy or she's busy then we don't get to do them but um she's the reason why a lot of people have come <laughs> and uh remain to see star girl and uh i appreciate that she certainly appreciates that uh she really enjoys um she has this uh this dream of interacting with the people that will <laughs> watch her cast and she talks to people like they're listening so she definitely gets what's going on um Except, of course, sometimes she gets, she has the sense that, um, that sh people can see her and, um, like when we're watching other people stream, she tries to talk to the person who's playing. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Anyway, last time that was Tyler, we were watching Tyler stream and she was like, Hi Tyler, hi! Hi Tyler, hi! What are you doing? <laughs> And I was like, honey, he can't hear you. We watched Jeff in control. Uh, Jeff Robinson's stream, same thing. Trying to talk to him. It's pretty funny. It's cute. But anyway, that's what we're about here. Uh, we believe that fun and exciting games can happen at any level. And so we uh, try to prove that by showing you those said games. But the only way I can do that is if you send your awesome replays to noobcast at gmail.com. And Inferno trying to peek, trying to get a look-see at what's going on in his opponent's base. And he just got the peek. He did see this building. Whether he clicked on it, he probably saw that it was, in fact, a barracks. So, but not going to get any more vision than that. So we'll see. He's getting the Maynard on, moving his drones down, putting down a spine in case of any early aggression from the Terran player. And he's got this... Um, Ling out here, so even if the Terran player does decide to move with a small force, he is going to have time. Wow, three reactors. War Gumby looking to push with some serious marine aggression. Maybe even one base timing here. But he is getting gas, so that's weird. It's weird to get gas if you're just making marines. He only made two more. Oh, here he's got marauders coming out of this one. Okay, there's the tech lab. There's the stim pack zerg speed is already finished and we do have 
uh, Inferno just droning like a madman. Which I can appreciate. And now he does have the Overlord coming through. And he's going to see everything he needs to see before he dies. Look at those uh, three reactor barracks. And he knows, even with the command center, he knows to expect some, uh, some aggression. And it looks like it's coming now. And the Zergling is going to see these guys move out. And uh, this tower will see them move out too. So he knows he's going to know exactly what's coming. It's going to have time. 12 lings and 4 banelings. This is not an overreaction. He's got one spine. He put down another one. Plenty of time. Uh, and he, I do not think... I, Inferno's a smart player. I do not think you're going to see him make any more than those 12 zerglings um, with those banelings. Because he's going to have plenty. He's going to be able to get a surround on these units. And the banelings going to come in from the front. Zerglings are going to clean it up. Easy peasy. Uh, perfect, perfect defense by Inferno. Now he's got a second spine. He's going to be able to do whatever he wants. And now he can go and counter with these lings and harass this expansion. If he so desires. And it looks like he does, in fact, desire to do that. But he's going to get met up front here and get dead. So he's going to have to make some more lings. War Gumby continues to run by without checking this tower, uh, which is about the most unwise thing you can do, especially in a map like this, where if you move down the center, your opponent sees everything. Um, it's just a bad idea. A third spine going down here, probably not the best. Um, more links coming out. This spine is... Yeah, it's going to clean this up really easy. He did lose that spine. He's got some banelings back here as well. But again, we're going to be not checking the tower and not seeing that Inferno sees everything that he's doing. I uh, probably wants to move this spine up. Oh, he sees. Lings coming up. There's the stim. Oh, but they're going to... Oh, so many banelings getting uh, kind of wasted. Nice on War Gumby. Moving the Marines back, leaving the Marauders to take those Bane hits. And man, those are, those are beefy, man. Two Spines... How are they going to do against these marines? They're not focus firing, so they're probably going to do okay. Zing, Ling is coming out, and um, wow, that was pretty good. Uh, those marines split themselves up. They didn't focus fire those spine crawlers. And so they were able to do really good. And now here comes War Gumby out again on the warpath. Going to get caught out here. Has to be careful. Oh, I don't like the engagement up against those rocks. Not a good place to engage for Inferno. Glad that he pulled back. Oh. Another bad concave. More Banes being morphed. Marauders out in the front looking for those Banelings. This is a much harder engagement. Might want to get those queens in there. There's a nice Baneling hit. Oh, yeah. That's what you wanted. That's what you wanted. Five Marines left aren't going to do that much damage here. I'm going to check, make sure there's no third yet. War Gumby. Stacking on four more racks. And immediately putting down reactor, 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 tech lab. <laughs> so, <laughs> again, staying uh, mainly marine heavy. There is the re the uh, factory for the first time in this game. So, he might be thinking that this game might have some length to it. So, he better get himself some medbacks or he's going to be dead. Command center going down. He's looking to take a third. 
And that is going to give Inferno time. And Infer keep in mind, Inferno still has both towers and is going to see any kind of aggression that's coming. And the Terran is going to continue putting on aggression while he sets up for his third. And he's got a lot of money, so he's basically going to be able to put those new barracks into use right away. Looks like he's going to come after this third that he doesn't know exists yet. But he's going to go in this way anyway. And here come the Zerglings. They are 1-1 one, one Zerglings to plus one attack upgrades. Zerglings coming in from the back. Marines again being pulled out to keep to let the Marauder take the hit. A couple Marines go down there. Loses a Bane. Going to have to cancel this. Oh, Mabe's going to try and save it. No, nope, he does cancel the last second, and these Zerglings are going to be able to clean this up. But replants that hatchery right away. In the meantime, Command Center's finished. He does not turn into an orbital first. He's going to go land it right over here. Drop some turrets in anticipation of Mutalisks, which are on the way. And 11 of them, to be precise. Spire long finished. And the mutas pop. Macro hatch being very useful at this point. Infestation pit now. Mutaling Baneling. Moving out. Baneling speed finished. And he's going to... Oh, once now, finally, no longer has the tower. He's going to kill this marine just in time to see this force moving out the other way going to want to move those lings around to intercept it and where are the mutalisks he's going to want to get them into perfect oh stim on the marines are they going to get any hits they get a few marine hits mutas can come in and clean up these uh and that's going to be it for that And the mutas are going to go out and t take their turn, maybe doing a little harass. There are n There's one turret back here, and Marine's close by, so probably not the best idea. And now that all of these other barracks are kicking in, everything is making everything. So, um, where is the starport? Uh, you heard it. There's the starport. Mutas, what are they hitting? They're taking on a ref what is going on? Inferno clicked, must have misclicked on that refinery. And oh my goodness, um, how many of these guys? A couple of mutas about to be dead. And one marine goes out and stims and takes the tower. Very smart. Here come all the units. Gonna hit. Oh, Bailings. Kill lots of units, probably not the most efficient, but almost all of them are dead, so more efficient than obviously I know about. And once again, this bio without Metavax just not going to work out. He really needs to... He's all mined out here in his main. These guys are all going to move out. Look at this. Two, three, four, five call downs. Which means he's been food, he's been supply blocked several times, and he's wasted potential mules on supply call downs and uh, his mutas not doing the best. Probably needs to get him out of here. Another force of bio moving out to deny this base. It will get canceled. And there's a, an oddly timed stim. That's not the best stim. Marauder is going in first once again to absorb bailing damage. But Inferno doing uh, just great. Just running his uh, lings and, and banelings right by the Marauders down to the Marines and cleaning them up. No sweat. This is, um, you're seeing pretty textbook... Uh, Zerg versus Terran right now. I mean, as far as the Zerg is concerned, this Terran, I'm not...
thrilled with, I mean, he's still not making, he's got so much gas. He's short on money because, I mean, well, he's so oversaturated. And look at this, he's getting, uh, these turrets are badly placed. He's not mining efficiently at all, so he can't keep up with money. He really needs to make medvacs if he wants to stay in this game. And this is two games in a row, I think, where we've seen a Terran refuse to make uh, enough medvacs, and it really hurts you. It really hurts you in the game here. And here comes another surround with the Zerglings, and up. Oh, very nice. The uh, Banelings popped on Marauder. This is not an engagement you want. No, Inferno loses most of his Mutalisks. That was a lot of Mutalisks that just died, and now he's going to lose this base yet again. But there's plenty of Marine of Marines, plenty of Zerglings and Banelings in here to kill. Yeah, easy peasy. Maybe, just maybe, oh, finally we have some medvac production coming for Wargumby. He's getting tanks, he's getting siege tanks, and plus three attack. He's getting plus one weapons attack. Plus three melee, already down, already uh, almost finished for uh, Inferno. Now he's getting range attacks. Is, was he getting... Uh, is that for, does that work for fungal? Is that consider? I mean, I guess it must be considered a range attack. But they don't really have, they don't really, I mean, according to this, they don't even get the plus attack, plus range attack. So unless there's going to be some roaches or hydras in the mix, I don't foresee them... Again, Marauders leading the way, forcing a cancel yet again on this base. A lot of Overlords getting taken out, but it's not going to matter. Nice, nice Bailey hits. That army's going to die. Uh, Inferno just doing really good trades here, um, and you know continuing to get bases. He's got this base; it's going to finish, and Terran's not going to know about it. He was able to keep these medvacs. Uh, we have again now about fifty lings being made here. Um, and it's basically all ling baneling. Um, he has some corruptors coming out now. Which makes me think that he is going to be going for uh, the Greater Spire. There it is. And he's going to be having Brood Lords. This command center is going to get attacked as soon as it's up. Planetary. Oh, he's going to have to cancel making that planetary. Uh, he did lift it off in, in the uh, right amount of time, but this is going to die anyway. There's no way he can save it. There's no way he can... Oh, he got a mule down? Is it going to be in time? <laughs> that was so close. It got down to like 5 health. That was crazy. Yeah, send in a few mutas. Pick that thing off. Uh, you're not going to have enough. It's already up to 200 health. Yeah, those investors would do it. And here come the brood lords. Terran, you think two medvacs is enough? Do you really think that? I mean, honestly. Do you seriously believe that two medvacs is enough to heal your army? I mean... Whatever, man. <laughs> whatever planetary is fully healed brood lords are out and Terran knows that he is in deep doodle deep deep trouble 
and the tanks will not survive. Fungals out on these units. More fungals. Oh, yes. Another fungal. Give me more fungal. Oh, yes. Units dying everywhere. And Brew Lords having a field day. I mean, I expect GG at any time now from the Terran because he has sent army after army after army, and now he's just going to get overrun. And uh, 60 Zerglings coming out for Inferno. And as soon as these pop, uh, this is going to be the game. He's going to be able to overrun all of War Gumby's bases. And he's going to be able to... He needs to focus down these SCVs. <coughs> because, I mean, obviously the Broodlords can sit there all day. And without any other units to come and kill them. Which it looks like he's finally got some Vikings out. But now he has to make Vikings instead of Medivacs. Oh, fungal on the... And look at the SUVs are healing each other. They're so sweet. Fungal, 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 fungal. Oh no. More Vikings out. And this planetary fortress is just doing work. Now there's more Zerglings come in. Finally over on this thing. That was kind of a waste. I think at this point, uh, Inferno knows that he's got this game won, so he doesn't care that he did such a horrible, horrible trade right there. <coughs> and he's going to move in. He's going to make some more Corruptors. He's going to make some more Broodlords. And these Corruptors are going to kill these Vikings. Easy peasy. Don't waste another Fungal. Love how easy Zerg is. Yeah, easy. I hate when people say things like that. Um, first of all, Terran player. Um, you mined out three bases. Mostly due to mules. You're mined out already. You're up against five bases. And you didn't make frickin' medvacs. You know, the whole freaking point of having a, a bio army, marine medvac, marine marauder, is so that you can make medvacs to freaking heal them. Now, if you had made the proper number of medvacs, you might have had a chance to win. But again, two games in a row now, the complainer doesn't make medvacs. Good game by Inferno. It was fun to watch. Uh, there was lots of constant action, constant aggression by the idiot Terran player who thinks Zerg is easy. And, uh, you know, just didn't have enough to win. And this whole thing at the end there was just kind of silly, and I'm sure Inferno was just like, I don't care, I'm going to win this, <laughs> so I'm just going to spend all day trying to kill this. And really, he made Terran waste a lot of resources repairing that planetary fortress uh you know instead of mining so it was actually pretty good pretty good hope you guys enjoyed it i had fun with it and keep climbing that ladder we'll see you next time